Hey everyone, Corey here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a desktop background, kind of like the one I have. Uh, also in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make uh, your text look like this, also how to do the reflection, and also make it uh, transparent. So let's get to it. First you want to hit print screen, and what that's going to do is take a picture of your whole screen, and it's going to make it easier when you open up Photoshop. You can just go to file, new, and it'll show you your screen size. Uh, mine is 1440 by 900. And also, if you uh, control V that picture, it would show your desktop like that. But we're not going to do that. So let's get started. First, what you want to do is uh, I made my background black. Now, it doesn't matter what color you made your background, but I'm going to make my background the same color. Double click it, make it so it's just a layer. And then, what I did is I made my background black, filled that in with paint bucket and then switch to a, a darker gray, uh, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, and then I hit the brush and then went up to the brush feature and then clicked number 65 and then made the diameter the whole way up to 2500. Then what I did is I centered it, not really centered, I, I guess it doesn't really matter but I kind of centered it and then I uh, clicked it and it gave it that. Now if you're going for the black on black uh, how I had it. Uh, I'd make it a little brighter so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make uh, another one because uh, I use it darker for um, for like colored text uh, not black and then I make it a little bit lighter for um, for for um, black text so I'm gonna change this from 30 30 30 to 5 the whole way through like that and then uh, again go back to the brush kind of center it right there ish and now it's a little brighter so let's get working on this then you want to go to your text tool type in your text as soon as it loads there we go game vids and then I'm gonna select that and make it black now an easy way to center this in the middle what you want to do is uh, go to your layer your background or whatever and that's why we double clipped it double clicked it, hold down control and click it it will select the whole thing and then make sure you're on your arrow key and then up here you can center your text as long as you're on your text uh, also you can center whatever but uh, just make sure you're on your text and then you will center the text when you do that so get rid of the selection by hitting this and then just clicking it, yeah you should all know that hopefully uh, next we're gonna duplicate our text go to duplicate layer hit enter and now uh, we're going to take the marquee tool, uh, elliptical. You might have the rectangular uh, right here. Just hold it and then I uh, get to the elliptical. And then drag it over the picture however you want it. Kind of like that. Then what we're going to do is go to the eraser tool. Click over it. It'll say you have to rasterize it. We're going to turn off game uh, the, the regular one and keep the copy up. And then we're going to delete the copy. So make your eraser kind of big and just delete it like that. And there we go. So now we have a bottom here, which is uh, the top one, and then we have what's going to be our top right here. So to change that, what you want to do is uh, now we're going to make it uh, transparent. So uh, double click it, which will take you to the the, um, the editing of it, the layer style, the blending options, whatever you want to call it. And right here where it says uh, advanced blending fill opacity, we're going to change it from 100% the whole way down to zero and now it's transparent but you can't see it so what you want to do is either add a drop shadow like that or a stroke like that uh, it's whatever you want um, however you want it I'm gonna go with the stroke just because it looks a little bit better I guess um, to, well it looks better to show I actually like the drop shadow um, and you know you can customize this uh, add a drop shadow and a stroke you can edit it however you want but just for the tutorial I'm going to show you it on stroke and also if you wanted the color uh, you could go to color overlay red on this one and then uh, you know whatever color you want this red or whatever or uh, blue darker red whatever you want but we're going to keep it black for right now there we go 
So then what you want to do is you want to hit shift and select both of these and then right click and hit duplicate layers. And then hide these two. Uh, that way in case you mess up you don't have to start all over, you still have the original ones. While well, with these two still selected, hit control and E, that's going to merge them together. And as you can see now it's just one layer. Uh, you want to duplicate this and also if you wanted to change the color, this would be the best time after you do that because then they're together. And then as you can see you can make it red or whatever color you want but I'm gonna keep it black for right now so I duplicate it now we're gonna show you how to do the, the reflection so duplicate it hit control T it's gonna bring this up right click and hit flip vertical and then just hit the arrow key and then hit apply uh, you can then zoom out or you can just drag it down but I, I like to hit control uh, minus sign I guess or whatever you wanna call it dash whatever and uh, just you know zoom it out underscore whatever you wanna call it the key to the left of the plus and equal sign but uh, if you zoom in, if you make it really small, then you can move uh, your mouse down, and it's a lot faster. So just line this up how you want it. It looks good. Then what you want to do is come down here to the the layer mask. Go over here to the paint bucket, hold it down, go to gradient, and make sure you choose the gradient that's uh, black to transparent. Uh, hold down, sh click here, hold down shift, drag it from the bottom to the top, or if well since it's uh, upside down, the top to the bottom and then do it one more time and uh, that's gonna make it like that and then all you have to do is come over here to opacity and uh, change it from 100 percent to whatever um, on the black I like to make it 25 it looks kinda good like that and uh, there we go so uh, that's how you make the background and then you can just save it uh, now we're gonna show you a color one real quick so change the background to darker as you can see you, you know if you like it dark on dark then uh, that's good but I think the, if you're gonna use black make it a little bit lighter uh, we're gonna change we're gonna turn this off we're gonna change this to a uh, color color overlay let's make it uh, a nice blue nice soft baby blue or whatever you wanna call it there we go uh, we're gonna duplicate it again duplicate control T right click flip vertical uh, zoom it so it's small and then scroll it down with your arrow key just down uh, I do it that way I mean like you like I said you can drag it and drop it but I do it with the arrow key that way I know it hasn't moved uh, left or right and it's perfect make it how you want it uh, again go back to the layer mask go back to your gradient tool and then drag from the bottom to the top. It doesn't have to be perfect, it's whatever. It's again just make this off your preference. I'm just showing you what my preference is. And then uh for color I like to make it fifteen because it's a little bit brighter. And uh there we go. And then uh, one more, um I'm gonna show you guys how to make it if you want it um without like what it looks like without the stroke, what it looks like with um the shadow instead. So get rid of stroke, go to drop shadow, get rid of, and then you can either add a drop shadow on both, but it doesn't really do a difference. So just add it to the the bottom one, the one that's everything, like that, and there and looks good. And now uh, select them both with shift, duplicate, control E. Now right here you cannot change the color. If you change the color of it like you did last time for the what's called it, it changes the the, um, the shadow and it looks really bad. So uh, make sure you choose the colors you want before you do that if you're going to do it this way. Uh, so then duplicate that. Control T. Right click. Flip vertical. Arrow. Zoom in. Well zoom out. Hold down the arrow key and go down zoom back in line it up how you want it now with the shadow uh, you gotta move it down a little bit more there we go again it's however you want it I uh, go to there and by now you should already know what I'm gonna say so I don't even have to tell you uh, what to do so we're just gonna do this real quick and then change the opacity back to uh, 25 and there we go um, that's how you make it Hopefully you guys enjoy this tutorial, and uh, if you have any questions or whatever, leave a comment below, and I'll talk to you guys later. Take care.